Hello, I'm King Max, and today I'll be reviewing robots. I bought these at Dollar Tree. Yes, this is Tankor, Starscream through Puberty, Destructor, Anti, uh, it's named Anti, and Decimator. No, no it's Bone Saw. Uh, yeah, I know. What's their names? And they're Transformers. They transform. They're from Dollar Tree, and they're somewhat good, I guess. Alright, no, it's size comparisons. A micro machine. Vintage. I found this in a dumpster. Gonna go myself. One step change off this prime, which I showed you how small these are. Here he is compared to. There they are compared to my mascot, Bomb Shock. I'm gonna transform on camera because I can. And he's my little delight. Oh my mat. And he's my mascot, so he deserves his own little transformation on the screen. And his buddy, Growl. Yeah, these these guys are just very small. Alright, so yeah. I guess um on to the transformation for all of them. This bone saw is really easy. Then you got Destructor. I can't remember what I named this guy. I made up his name as a he was talking. Then you got this guy. You just I'll stand him up. This guy's really easy. Then you. Then you. Then you hail the Hitler with this guy, sadly. I swear to God, we just stand up. Then you got Tank War. Right, the arms. Swing him down. Fold the turn in, because that's what you have to do. Fold out the feet, pull apart the legs, and fold down the chest and straighten out the head. Yeah, he actually has head posability. As you can see, he's the most posable. Then you stand this guy up by swinging out this arm and laying him forward. That's the only way he is going to stand. This guy, it's just a balance game. Hand it, this guy, it's right. Nope. Okay, that helped. So yeah, I'll individually cover him. Starting with this guy. He is not the most plausible. Only gets plausible on the arms, and he does have a little waist rule. Other than that, I just say get him out of here because I'm not gonna deal with him standing up. Then you got this guy. He's got arm posability and uh, two conjoined knees. Then you got. Oh, damn, I hate these things. All right, if you don't want to stand, I'm not gonna deal with it. You got this guy. He's got arms, which is why he reminds me so much of a G1 figure. Well, it's because the legs are just hanging out. Deal with you, but not the others. And you got arm movement on this gun, that's it. Then Tankor over here, you got sw head swivel. His chest can go up, down, ball joint. So it can go forward, backwards, it ro rotation here. Ball jointed hip. Forward kick. No knee, but there is a knee swivel for some reason. And the T choke can do that. So, yep. They're all good. I had to get rid of some of them because they would not stand. Then you got this guy. They're pretty cool, so I guess size comparisons. Okay, with you. One step change your Optimus and Bomb Shock again. So, yeah, overall, they're pretty good. I like them. And I don't like them at the same time. It's kind of like with the uh, whole um, tying changers thing. But on a different level. A little small. They're all not the same size, but out of them all, I say Tank War is my favorite. So subscribe, everyone. Like the video if you do, please.